What's going on guys, my name is Gun, and I'm finally back from vacation. And with the first video being back, I just wanted to do a tips and tricks or mechanics that you guys have probably never done or tried out. So, there might be some in here that you guys have done, so if you have, that's awesome. Some of them might be a little older too. Okay, so the first one's going to be with the mech suit. You could actually negate the gas uh, stratagem if you get in it. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. So it's pretty nice to have, especially if you're being uh, bombarded by a lot of enemies and flanked by them. You can just throw one down on top of you shooting so they're not attacking your mech. It's pretty cool. All right, since we are on the topic for the mech suit, you could actually cross waters in a mech suit. Uh, the only issue is right here, me testing it out, you could actually drown. So you could go as deep as you want, but the thing is your mech will eventually die out. So you'll have to watch out for that because you will drown if you're too far out. Also, your teammates could jump on top to transport them across. So it's pretty helpful in some situations. So this one, it should be obvious to a lot of you by now because you could outrun the Shriekers. However, if you didn't know, you could actually stay prone and they'll just keep missing. They'll never hit you. You'll just have to watch out for the other enemies that are attacking you, the Terminates. So that's a cool little tip that I thought was interesting. Didn't know it before I tried it. So I might be a noob for that. So this one's actually very interesting. I was testing this out, just trying to see if I could mess around with the uh, jetpack while I was in water. For some reason, I just wanted to see if I could get underwater. And I actually figured out you could run fast and not be disrupted by the water at all, which is insane. Look how fast you're running through the water. The enemies are not gonna cross the water or they will very slowly. So the way you have to do this is when you have your jetpack ready, all you have to do is hit jump and prone at the exact same time. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. You just gotta get the sweet spot for it. I also seen a clip of some guy that was directly on the ground I have no idea how the fuck he did that, <laughs> probably the same thing, but it's just a cool little thing to try out just so you guys could traverse water without any disruption at all. So this one's the Pelican 1 that will help you out. All you have to do is get into the location and leave immediately, just know where it's at and the Pelican will actually stay out there helping you out. Let's just say you complete the mission early and you still have a lot of objectives to do. This is a great way to do that just because your Pelican will be out there helping, especially if you're a uh, solo player uh, it's very helpful as you can see it's taken out it's trying to take out this uh, this bug out post here but it it just it can't do it from this angle I know people have actually showed this off before but I just wanted to show it out there for the people that haven't seen it it's a nice little tip to try out so this one might be a little controversial to some people just because if you're especially if you're in a team but if you're a solo player like myself this is gold right so all you'll want to do is become a trader, and you could actually uh, serpentine. That's all you got to do. Go left, go right. The bombs will fall, and you'll see here. Actually, stay as a trader for a really long time. But the thing is, the enemies will eventually start hitting you if you run out of stamina. So if you're not, if you, and if you don't have any stims either, so it's kind of the only downside is if you don't have speed, you're kind of screwed. So that's the only thing, and if you don't have stamina. But it's, it's a nice little trick to try out. It's a pretty interesting way to get rid of groups of enemies if you don't have, or maybe your Shatter Gym's on cooldown too. And yeah, once in a while you will get hit. The thing is, if you have the shield generator on, that's a plus. If you have the armor set that I have on, which is you'll have a, I think it's a 50% chance to not die from lethal damage. It's very helpful for this strat, but yeah, thought it was cool. Try it out. For this next one, it is very helpful, especially on the higher levels with a ton of enemies. This works mainly, I'd say mainly more for uh, Terminids. It can work for Automatons, but they have long range. So the thing is, I love using the Shield Generator uh, Relay. For this, it all it is, it distracts them. And for some weird reason, I have no idea, this one works so good as a decoy. So if you have a shitload of enemies on you, and you throw it down, they'll all just conjugate towards it. Uh, minus the small little guys, there's a couple little ones, stragglers, that will uh, actually follow you still. They don't really care, but a lot of the bigger to medium enemies will actually target it. It's funny as I say that as a stalker is right in my face. But, <laughs> but yeah, look at that. All of them just conjugate to it. And if you combine this with the uh, Tesla tower, it is phenomenal.
But yeah, it's great. It's a great thing to use, especially if you're trying to get away from enemies. I know some people will be like, well, just throw down a turret. It'll actually take out enemies the same time. The thing is, it, it seems very squishy against all the enemies for some reason. Uh, the shield generator stayed up, or the shield relay stayed up for a long time. They stay hitting it, it just, it's just strong. I have no idea why it works like that, but it's really good. Okay, so lastly is the auto cannon could smash the damn walking fabricator. You guys have probably never tried it, and it's pretty difficult to set up as well because enemies will be on top of you so fast, but it only takes six, six shots to the underbelly, Jesus Christ. And it's dead, just like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and actually find some of the tips useful. If you guys have any additional tips that I haven't seen or covered, please put them in the comments below. I love to know more about the game, and I have been off the game a little bit more for Helldivers and playing a lot of other games, but this is still like home to me. I, I love Helldivers. Like, I'll, I'll always come back to this game. But yeah, if you guys have any more, please share them with me. I would appreciate it. Also, please subscribe. I'm almost at 2,500 subscribers. That's very little to some people, but to me, it means the most. It means the world, right? Okay, but please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out, my guys, and stay safe out there.